here is why you should tie and use this orange popper. You see? That's why. Evening everyone. Um, I hope you enjoyed the short clip that uh, demonstrated very nicely how effective this uh, this popper really is. So uh, let's get on to it and, uh, and tie this orange uh, popper. Today I'm going to use uh, some big fly fiber in orange. I'm going to use uh, two different varieties of flesh. I'm going to use some lateral scales uh, from, uh, from Fleshaboo and uh, I'm going to use some, uh, some original Fleshaboo in, uh, in orange. Then I'm gonna use um, some fur strings. You could use marabou as well, but the fur strings have a nice feel to it. I'm gonna use some very large, very nice uh, quality of, of saddle feathers for the tail as well. And then finally, we're gonna apply some black popper heads with some eyes and some legs on them as well, as well and, and some 3D eyes. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's uh, let's start. This popper um, works very well, and, and it works very well because it's it's fairly big, and also it has some uh, some uh, some pretty uh, pretty vibrant colors, and that's one of the one of the things that makes this fly uh, stand out. It's it's fairly easy to tie, but it uh, it looks absolutely fantastic in the water. Good. First of all, I'm I'm gonna take a bundle of uh, of this uh, big fly fiber, and one of the important things here is is to make sure you have a very good base of tying thread for uh, for your popper, because uh, your materials is gonna see a lot of teeth, so you need to, to be sure that all your materials are fastened very 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 well. So it needs a firm base on which to build the rest of the fly. So as you can see, I'm tying this fairly long, a long way up the shank because I want this <laughs> fly to last like that cutting off my spare materials throw it in my waste basket and then it's pretty much straightforward from here this is uh, the first and, the, and uh, the big fly fiber is very nice because it has uh, this this curly part that makes it looks, uh, look very good in the water so then I'm gonna apply some flesh where to put those? And these lateral lateral scales are very, very, uh, very cool looking, and uh, and also very cool looking in the water. You don't need much of these. Uh, say four or five would do the trick, and then evenly distribute along the the hook shank. So I'm just going to take them individually, put them on the thread, and then uh, drag them exactly where I want them to be. These make a lot of noise in the water because of this, uh, uh, this the texture of them, uh, which is is kind of scaly or or I don't know the the exact word, but they are they are riffled and that uh, that uh, makes them uh, appear very very nice in the water and reflect a lot of light, so the pike won't have any trouble finding your fly even in uh, even in murky waters. Like that's that putting on adding. Just a few more of these, and then the last one. So, mm. 
and of course when you're tying pike flies you don't want to waste any materials so this, this, the stumps here I'm just gonna turn them the other way around and, and tie them down once more this also makes sure that, uh, that the materials will stay on there and, uh, and fasten them even, even better like so Good. then on moving on to, uh, to the next part I'm gonna take uh, some more flesh and this time uh, I'm gonna use uh, orange flesh these uh, fleshable fleshes comes in an enormous amount of, of very neat uh, and very usable colors especially the hollow colors which are also are the ones I have in the shop by the way um, please uh, subscribe you can click uh, there there's gonna appear a link uh, at the top uh, left corner from you from your point of view uh, right about now that uh, sh that that uh, asks you to please uh, please subscribe if you subscribe to my my channel you will uh, you will get instantly instantly um, notice whenever a new video is up so so subscribe <laughs> please if 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 you wanna uh, I can guarantee you that this won't be the last of uh, of uh, <laughs> of a lot of fly tying videos I'm gonna do. What's important when you apply the flesh is, as you can see, I pulled it into different lengths because then it won't uh, stick together in the water. So uh, so apply different lengths. Just drag it a bit out, so you you will get uh, you will get the flesh to be in different lengths, so it won't stick together in a bundle in the water like that nice and nice and and lively this flesh is also very lively in the water and again I'm gonna do exactly like I did before uh, turning this over not to waste any material but also to make sure that my flesh will um, will will stick on there through all the teeth and mayhem and <laughs> general Armageddon that <laughs> Pike fly fishing can be like so. Take all of that and control it a bit. And then I'm gonna take some of these saddle feathers. These saddle feathers are fairly important because they add an enormous amount of uh, of uh, movement to the fly. The fly simply swims better if you use uh, if you use uh, use feathers. See like this. Just gotta take six or seven something like that and uh, I'm gonna take some in different lengths as well let's take one more that one looks nice so taking these feather and um, and tying them down so the uh, the underside is up that will make them um, turn in the water and also they will uh, they will um, they will be moved a bit away from uh, from the hook shank and, and therefore uh, uh, I don't know how to say that uh, they will they will um, make the fly wider and these are insanely lively in the water something I'm, I'm very very fond of because that will intrigue a hesitant pike to and convince an hesitant a hesitant pike to uh, to uh, to go all the way and, and grab the fly instead of just following it. So, taking a short one here, applying that as well. Just gonna have to have a quick peek at your side. That looks pretty good as well. Just tying down this last one. And of course, you wanna apply a lot of thread to this as well to make sure that everything stays in place so now you have the, the baseline of the, of the fly and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take one of the popper heads I'm gonna use these uh, tapered foam poppers which uh, have a very nice effect in the water they, they, they splash a lot uh, which is, is uh, a definite ad advantage I think so I'm gonna see where that's that fits about there. That's pretty nice because I need to tie in some. Uh, uh, I need to tie in um, this uh, first string to give kind of like a, uh, 
I don't know how to give kind of like the effect of, of a long heckle to make the uh, the uh, to make uh, the transition between the the tail and the popper head uh, looks look even better and also it, it it brings a lot of life to the to the fly. These fur strings is. Um, is a neat product which is very lively in the water and um, and generally work very very well for pike flies. So I'm just giving this a bit more thread just to be sure that this won't go anywhere at all. Like so. Taking my first string, tying it down at the base of the hackles and the entire tail. Just to give this part of, of the fly a bit more volume, I'm just going to tie in some rag stumps of, of feather here. And that is just to make sure that the popper head is, uh, is, is filled out. The, the, the space in the popper head is going to be filled out, so I'm just going to do like this. You can use anything. You can also just tie further up in the beginning uh, with, the, uh, with the big fly fiber. You can see it just made the... Uh, the diameter of uh, the materials tied on the hook a bit, uh, a bit, bit thicker, like so. I know this looks <laughs> terrible, but that's okay because uh, this will be completely covered by the popper head in a second. Okay, then pulling out these fibers, these filaments, like this. I'm gonna turn this exactly like I'm turning a hackle. As I said before, you can also use a, a marabou feather and, and use that as a hackle, but this is, uh, in my opinion, a bit better. It's a bit more lively in the water and looks uh, fantastic on the fly. Making a color on the transition between between the tail and uh, the popper head. Like that, I'm just gonna see if my popper head is gonna fit on there. That looks about right. Pulling that off again. Taking the materials here, holding it a bit back before I tie this down. Uh, this first string is, 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 is spun on a, a metal fiber, on a metal string. Uh, sorry, on a metal string. So don't use your regular fly tying scissor to uh, to cut this off. This will <laughs> will make quick process of your tip of your of your good fly tying scissor. So I'm gonna use uh, a scissor that I have uh, retired to cut this off like that. making sure everything is exactly where I want it. Like so. Then seeing if everything is exactly where I want it to be. It is. Great. Just gonna make a fast quick finish here. These fur strings is, uh, is a Danish made product so you won't find them in any other web shop uh, besides mine or in any shop where at all besides mine because it's one of my uh, my Danish friends and uh, fellow fellow pike uh, maniacs <laughs> what you, whatever you choose to call us uh, who makes them and they are very neat like so just to be sure because a lot of uh, the times these holes in the popper is is not uh, is not wide and big enough so I'm gonna take my uh, my flat tying scissor and then I'm gonna mock it up in the back of this and just, I hope you can see this, just expand the hole in, in the bottom of the, of the popper head. This will make your life fairly much easier in a second way when, you, when you're applying the, the super glue. Uh, because super glue can be a bitch to, uh, to rectify <laughs> after you, you've done, uh, after you, you, you have completed your fly. So, taking my super glue putting my popper head some of the way here because uh, this next movement has to be fairly quick.
applying a drop of super glue, making sure it's all the way around here. And then this has to be done in one smooth movement. Like so. And then also you have to be certain that your popper head has the right angle. Okay. Moving on. Now actually the only thing we have left is to apply two eyes and uh, give this fly some um, give this fly some legs. So what I'm gonna do is so I made a hole in the popper head with the uh, heated uh, dubbing needle. Then I'm gonna take some orange flash again some orange. Uh, uh, some orange uh, flashable, not a very big bundle, about this size will do. And these are gonna be the the wings or the uh, uh, the fins of uh, of this fly. Again, I take it and then I make these a bit different in lengths, straighten it all out, putting my threader through this neat hole, which isn't that neat anymore. Now it is. Pushing my threader through the needle. And then I'm gonna apply the flesh in my threader. Because what I can do now is I can pull this through the hole and then I will have some very nice flesh wings on the fly. You see, like that. And just to be sure that these stays where I want them to be, I'm gonna take the super glue and uh, apply a small amount of super glue to the tip of this needle. Then I'm applying this super glue. I'm gonna do that on your side for your benefit, just like there, and then. I'm pushing it a bit in because then this is going to stay in there if if the hole you made with the dubbing needle is a bit too wide like that I think these are a bit long so I'm going to cut these a bit shorter something like that is sufficient I would say And these will will appear very very lively as well in the water. The final touch is to take your super glue, put a little drop of glue at the front of your head where you want your eye to be, taking a 3D eye in red, you can use silver or whatever you have available to you will, will do equally fine, and then <laughs> use your dubbing needle for this work, like so. I'm going to do that on the other side, but I need to turn uh, my vice in order to do that. A small drop. Then dumping the eye in the middle of that. And then making sure this eye will stick here. When you attach these eyes with uh, with the super glue, they will stay there and they will stay there even though you've caught, uh, let's say, 20 pikes on the same fly. Well, those were the words. This is the orange uh, popper, uh, which you saw in the, in the movie, and I guarantee you this will find the pikes. Oh, one last detail I almost forgot. is This is, is fairly, fairly long by now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissor and then I'm going to trim it a bit. I'm gonna cut some of these very very long big fly fibers off. Uh, be careful not to cut any of the saddle feathers in the process of this because those you will want to have in, in full length. I know this fly looks fairly big but trust me this really does the trick.
as you could see in the video. Um, I must say in the video I caught about, um, uh, you, you only saw one of the pike I caught there, but later on there's going to be another video on uh, on uh, the YouTube, on my channel, with approximately 30-40 takes. Uh, where, where Pike strikes this and uh, and uh, one of the other uh, popper patterns I'm gonna I'm gonna do later on. But here it is, the orange popper. Thank you.